Hi friends. Becky and I are going to go to Mount Hood today. We're starting out here in Hillsboro, which is um, I think uh, at least 60 miles from the mountain. We're going to go up to Timberline Lodge, which is the lodge where the movie The Shining with Jack Nicholson was filmed, at least the outside of the lodge. And uh, we're going to go in search of snow because the A-Leader company has sent me some snow boots to try out. It's um, cold here, but it's not snowing. So we'll see what happens up on the mountain today. We may have to go a long way to find snow. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day according to the sunrise coming up there behind Mount Hood. That is Mount Hood and it's about 60 miles away from here in Hillsborough. We're going down Highway 26 toward downtown Portland. As we crest the bridge that goes over the Willamette River on I-5, you can see the cityscape off to the left there. To the east, that little peak is Mount Hood. The city skyscape looks a lot different than it did when I moved to Portland 45, 46 years ago, and even when I moved away 20 years ago. This is Interstate 84 out near Gresham and Troutdale. You actually get better views of the mountain from farther away than driving up here. This is the road from Highway 26 um, up to Timberline Lodge. Mount Hood is a potentially active volcano. It's 11,239 feet in elevation. It's the highest mountain in Oregon and the fourth highest in the Cascade Range. Timberline Lodge is on the National Historical Register and a busy place during ski season. We're at about uh, 6,000 feet in elevation here, and as you can see, there is not yet enough snow to start the ski season. We're going to tour Timberline Lodge a little later, but first we have to find some snow for these boots. Well, we made it to Mount Hood. We have found snow, and today we're going to be talking about some A-Leader snow boots. I was back in... Billings, Montana in an ice and snow blizzard and they emailed me and said would you like to review some water shoes and I said I'm not getting anywhere close to water <laughs> for a, quite a while do you have any ice boots and they wrote back immediately and said no but we have snow boots and here we have found some snow let's get the boots all right one pair of boots. Two pair Two of A-Leader boots. A-Leader. And this pair is the buckle style. So this is a Velcro that comes around there and hooks up. They're Hard rubber here look um, very substantial. And it's got this drawstring thing up here at the top. The other ones are a different style. Um, they have laces in the front in order to adjust the ankle size. So Two pair of 8 liter boots. Now, originally, I asked for these to be sent to me, two pairs, so that I can compare them. And we got a size 9 and a size 10 for me and my son. My sons were the 10s. It turns out that um, we have Becky. <laughs> because my son had some uh, problems and uh, is home recuperating from a minor operation. So, Becky and I are going to try these in the snow. Oh. How's that feel? 
it feels really good. It's uh, super soft inside. Yeah, it's got like fake fur in it, right? Yeah, it's, um, it's extremely comfortable. I've well, never had a snow boot on. Let me see what it looks like on the inside. Ah. Well, isn't it? Gee, feels like rabbit. <laughs> I'm sure it's not rabbit. That wouldn't be politically correct. Fake rabbit. <laughs> Faux rabbit. Faux rabbit, okay. <laughs> These cinch up just like a tent stake thing. You know the string on a tent stake? Yeah. I have those on these shoes here. These are also a liter shoes. And uh, if you haven't watched my video about the review of these when I'm hiking in the mountains above Lake Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico, I'm going to put a link up above here so that you can go watch those. But today we're talking about the a liter snow boots. So let me get mine on. Okay. We'll go play in the snow. Yay. At the top here, we have this thing, which just slides down there and locks it at the top so no snow gets in there. And these make it tight around the ankle. That's feeling comfortable. And I'm going to do a double knot there. I noticed that there's a gray stripe on the laced ones and not a gray stripe on yours which are the buckle style. They're walking pretty good into the snow. Traction. Good. I just do that to prove I am 74 years old. <laughs> You're a horrible shot, Dad. Well, actually, I'm not. I know. You think so? Ow! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. These are awesome. You like the boots? <laughs> yeah. And there's a joke on my YouTube channel about dog content all the time. Yeah. Gotta have some dog content. Right. What's its name? That's Wrigley. Hey Wrigley! Come here Wrigley! Hey Wrigley! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Snow boots! Yeah! What do you think? Um, they're extremely comfortable. They're warm. Um... I feel safe and secure walking on the snow. I do too, and this is hard packs frozen yes. snow. I mean, we, we had to drive uphill for f f 66 miles right. to get find some snow. And one of the things that I was worried about is walking up here because it's hard packed. I mean, the snowball fight, you know, we just did that, but that, those weren't snowballs, those were ice balls, right. which explains why I missed you all the time, by the way. Uh, you hit me one time and it hurt like hell. Well, that's because you said I couldn't hit, I, I was a bad <laughs> aim, so I had to prove that that wasn't what was going on. But the point is that we've walked up this hill on this hard-packed, newly ice, and traction has been great. That's what I have to say. And if you're not going to play in the snow, you just happen to be living where it snows, I'd say these would be nice warm boots. Well, I'm going to end this video right here. 
Becky and I did spend the rest of the day up there on Mount Hood, and we had a great time touring uh, Timberline Lodge and meeting Heidi the St. Bernard, who's the mascot of the lodge. We had breakfast at the Huckleberry Inn, and then we drove down the old dirt road. Should have been a four-wheel drive. Well, actually, I guess her Subaru is four-wheel drive. <laughs> And uh, anyway, we took the back road to Trillium Lake, uh, saw a guy fishing, and he caught a trout. Uh, if you want to see any of that, and it's a beautiful, beautiful drive, and Trillium Lake is really spectacular. If you want to see any of that, please subscribe. I'll put it in my very next video. But I want to wrap this one up by telling you what I really think about the A-Leader snow boots. I didn't make... Uh, any mention of the fact that the buckle style it's like a, it tightens up around your ankle and just clips on just like that that works very well um, truth be told I prefer the laces because I wasn't in a hurry and I just uh, liked the way the laces worked the uh, construction of them seems good I particularly like the traction that we got with these hard rubber soles and yet the top part and inside the boot is very comfortable. My real opinion about snow boots is, and I'm going to put my money where my mouth is very very soon next week, don't be in the snow. <laughs> uh, Lynn and I are heading south on uh, this coming Thursday and we're looking forward to not being in snow. If you do live where there's snow I'd recommend these and I think that uh, a leader will probably give you a discount I'll put the code in the video description below. Thanks for hey, watching. If you like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.